Good evening, everyone. I'm Diane Baker. A decades-long battle between the state and a major oil producer could be over as ExxonMobil drills its first well at Point Thompson in nearly 30 years. CBS 11's Todd Walker joins us with reaction from the state. And, Todd, they're calling this a major victory, right? Yeah, Diane, it's been a long wait, and the Palin administration had been accused of being anti-oil and too hard on Exxon when it pulled its leases in 2006. The company appealed and today appears to have followed through on its word, dropping the first dr drill rig early this morning. It's something Alaskans have waited nearly 30 years for. There is finally activity going on here, the Point Thompson unit of the North Slope. Today, Exxon began uh, drilling uh, the first of two wells that they have planned to drill. We've been wanting Point Thompson developed for decades now, and here as of 2.30 this morning, we're finally seeing a well. The last time there was any sort of well drilled here was in 1983, but the state says Exxon has been sitting on some of this land for longer than that. Some of these leases were leased to uh, Exxon and its partners as long ago as 1969. And because of that decades-long wait, the state finally told Exxon in 2006 it had had enough time to get the field developed and pulled the plug on many of the leases. Exxon appealed, saying it was really ready to drill this summer. 44 of its other leases on Point Thompson are still under litigation. The state says this latest activity doesn't necessarily mean Exxon will get the green light for the rest of that land. It does, I think, however, demonstrate that Exxon has met a commitment it made to him during the, uh, during the appeal to begin drilling these two wells. So we can take that for what it's, for what it's worth. And although the state says this is a major milestone, there's still a lot of work left to do. There is no processing facilities on site. There's not a pipeline. A pipeline will have to be built for gas and oil. We've made the right decisions, and Exxon, with their duty to develop, um, that's going to come to fruition. Exxon could not make anyone available to speak to us tonight, but said in a statement they plan to begin production by the end of 2014. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Todd Walker, CBS 11 News.